Thanks, Bill. The government says they are too dangerous to be set free, but they want to house them in Michigan. An emergency town hall meeting today in Standish on a proposal to house terror suspects from Guantanamo Bay at a prison north of Bay City. It is a controversial proposal that has a lot of people worried about safety and jobs. 24-Hour News 8's Ken Kolker spent the day speaking with the people of Standish. He, talking about a topic that not only impacts their community, but also the rest of this state. They're calling it Gitmo North, Guantanamo Bay near Saginaw Bay. The possibility of moving terrorism suspects to the small farming community in Standish. It's beginning to divide this farming community north of Bay City, and it has statewide implications. Today, a town hall meeting organized by the opposition with some 200 people, including U.S. Congressman Pete Hoekstra. President Obama cannot put those prisoners on U.S. soil. They, they're, they don't belong in U.S. soil ever, ever. There's nothing wrong with Guantanamo Bay. It's not broke. What are you hearing in town just about that Gitmo? Um, pros and cons. Yeah, it's good, but then it's not good. Federal money, but then what about terrorism? The implications are far-reaching. There's the fear of the unknown, spread by some, including some state legislators, who talk of turning Michigan into a target for terrorists. Some call that a scare tactic. There's also hope for jobs in a city of 1,500 people and in a county where the unemployment rate is 17 percent, also set to lose 340 jobs if the state prison closes. Hookstra, ranking Republican member of the House Intelligence Committee, questions whether any locals would get prison jobs. They would likely, he says, go to the Department of Defense. The United States Intelligence President clearly articulates a plan. That Not all are opposed, though. This is an issue for Standish and for the people who live in the community. Uh, this particular uh, uh, town hall meeting was called by people that really felt strongly we should not even consider Guantanamo. He'd prefer Michigan not close the state prison, but says the federal prison jobs would boost the town. Merle Decker lives across the cornfield from the prison. He expects he'll move out if it becomes Gitmo North. I, I just wouldn't want to live with it up here too close to me, you know. And then people are liable to do anything. We'll continue to follow this story, but for now, in Standish, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8.